Hey, what's up guys, Alone here. So I had a question on my last video, what crosshair I use and if I could show that and also my sensitivity. Now my sensitivity on this account is the same, this is an alt account, I use the same sensitivity for all heroes, which is 3.5 sensitivity and 1.2k DPI. And I play on a TV screen and that's like really bad and I play on a 60hz screen. I'm actually ordering a 120hz screen in just a bit and I might have to change my sensitivity for that. I know it sounds weird but due to my screen being so large the sensitivity is a bit weird and also playing on a TV screen so overall my sensitivity might not be something you want to copy if you have a normal uh, PC screen, but anyways, that's what I have 3.5 sensitivity and 1.2k DPI But this is my crosshair. I use this crosshair for basically all heroes except two heroes And I'm going to show that in just a bit um, If I go down here to crosshairs, these are my settings I do not have show a currency on and I have green color I have one thickness 8 on crosshair length and then 10 center gap 100 opacity and then dot size is just the lowest possible and the same with dot opacity I just don't want a dot in the middle now for the different heroes that I have, I have, um, let me see, all the way down here at Symmetra, I have a bit different. I have the circle one with show, show accuracy on, and then these settings doesn't really matter too much. I guess opacity does, but that's about it. And um, I have green as well. And the reasons why I have show accuracy on is due to this. I'm going to show you. Here we go. I have the circle here, and if you have show accuracy on, this is what happens. You get a green circle in the middle showing how charged your right click is and that is really good. I mean, if I want to uh, save some ammo, I will usually do, um, what is it, four fully charged ones that takes 20 ammo each. And then in the end, I will do a really short one like this just before so I save some ammo because you can do a fully charged orb with only one ammo. So I get one extra fully charged orb and that's why I think that's really helpful. And with Tracer, I have kind of the same thing, I have a small circle with a small dot in the middle and then when I shoot it shows the spread and uh, Tracer has a really big spread so I think this is helpful because then I know I can do like this and it will still hit because the outer circle is where the small, the, I mean the few bullets go that spreads so if I just aim anywhere within the circle it's going to hit and that's why I just feel like that's really helpful and also you could do that with Sombra but I just haven't done that yet and I am, I'm just too used to this small crosshair when it comes to Sombra because I've played with it a bit on Sombra but I've always played with the two other crosshairs on Symmetra and Tracer and that's why I'm used to them so basically that's all I wanted to talk about in this video just a quick one to show my crosshair so I'm just gonna look down here in the dark uh, background so you can see the crosshair that's how it looks and yeah thanks for watching guys see you in the next one